Look at her. In her prime. Wow. She just became this, you know? Like, how do you do that? I know. It's so cool. But her mom wanted her to be a doctor. Or a teacher. I'm sure she's fine with what she is now. Well, yeah, duh, but, you know, what if she wasn't? What do you mean? Like, what if her mom wasn't okay with her being a model? What if she had to be a doctor? Or a teacher. Exactly. Do you ever feel like we don't really get to be who we want to be? Well, I for sure would have been Naomi Campbell if I got to pick. <laughs> no, I mean, like, who we want to become and what we want to do with our lives. Because look, I'm already 15. 20% of my life is already over and that's only if I live to be 75. And I've done nothing. I wake up, go to school, come home, go to bed. That's it. Every day. And it's not like we can refuse to do it. Like, we have to do it. Yeah, it's super culty. It's just pointless. I mean, I get that we need to know the basics, but why can't we pick what we want to learn about? Isn't that what college is for? Yeah, but that's another four years away. It's not that bad. So, you're okay with waiting another four years? Four years before you can learn more about something you're actually good at? I mean, I did get pretty good at block breaking computer class. Jada, what do you want to be when you're older? I kind of want to be a food critic, because I could literally just eat for a living. But my backup plan is to be a lawyer. My mom says I'd be a good lawyer. So, eating and arguing? I'm a simple girl. Well, have you ever thought, how can I get better at eating and arguing, and then realize that there's not a single class out there for that? Lunch? Well, what do you want to do? I want to work in Hollywood. Everyone wants to be a singer or actor at some point. Remember our band? One, two, three, four, go! I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Go tell me what you want, what you really want. OK, first of all, we don't talk about that anymore. And second, I'm not talking about music. And I don't want to be an actor. I want to be behind the camera. I want to be the one telling the stories. I want to be a director. But that's what I mean. Like, we don't even have a film class. Well, there's photography. It's not the same. Marley, remember that time when I said I wanted to be a professional yo-yo wear? And you went with me to the store and helped me pick out the raddest yo-yo and sat with me for hours as I tried to figure out the pinwheel trick. So, oh my gosh, wait, 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 ah! I'm doing it, I'm doing no, it, I'm wait, doing wait, it, I got wait, it, no, stop! Ah! Hours. You were really there for me. So that's what I'm gonna do for you. So I guess if you need an actress, this is my good side. <laughs> I think I'm gonna tell them tonight. Who? Oh. There you go, honey. More bacon bits for ya. So, how was school? Fine. What's wrong, Moz? Mom, Dad, I've been thinking about this a lot. And I know it's gonna be hard for you to hear, but I'm just gonna tell you. You guys grew up in a very different world. And things are changing now, and I just need to be myself and do what makes me happy. Well, honey, that's yeah. all we've ever I want to go to film school. What? Really? Yeah, movies. I want to make them. Cool. What, uh, what kind of movies? You know, like movie theater movies. Uh, I think that's great. I mean, movies are fun. We like fun, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yes, but the the... Film industry, it's not a very stable thing, sweetheart. That's what's fun. You get to be creative and different and-, and hey, 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 can I be like an extra? I mean, you know, I'll maybe a janitor mopping up in the background or something. What do you if think? the budget allows, then yes. Okay, but I'm gonna tell you, my going rate Richard. is- I'm sorry, honey, sorry. Can me and your mother be extras in the movie? You want to? No. Yeah. <sighs> Look, honey, what I'm trying to say is that you know we believe in you. And you are the brightest kid that I've ever met. But? But I am your mother, and it's my job to make sure you don't go down the wrong path. But, but why would it be the wrong path? Because it's too risky. Come on, sweetheart. Whatever happened to you wanting to be a politician? Huh? Or, or a professor? I'll make movies about politicians and professors, and, and it'll be incredible. Hey, sweetheart, I'm sure they will. But this is really a ridiculous conversation. How can you even think about doing something like, do you know how hard it is? Marley. Marles. 
Did it again, didn't I? It's okay. I got it. Don't worry. Relax. I can't talk to her, you know? Relax. I got it. I got it. Yeah? I like what you've done to the place. Posters look nice. He's visually pleasing and it relieves my stress. Yeah, well, Brad will do that to you, huh? <laughs> You know, your mom's just giving you a hard time, kid. She really cares about you. She always gives me a hard time. Yeah, well, she's very... Mean? No, honey. She's been working really hard. And things haven't been so easy since I lost my job. You know that. She's just looking out for you, Marles. That's all. Hey, come here. Come on. Sit down. You know, when I was younger, I had all kinds of dreams. <laughs> I, I thought I wanted to be a doctor. But then the thought of having somebody's life in my hands, I just uh, couldn't do it. Then, I thought I'd be a construction worker, because that's what my father was. And I did it. But believe it or not, all I wanted to have was my own drive-in movie theater. What happened? Well, you see, there's wishbones, and there's jawbones, and there's backbones. There's those who dream about doing things, and then there's those that talk about doing things, and then there's those that actually accomplish things. And me, I'm a wishbone. Now, I've known you a little over 15 years, so I think I know you pretty well. And you, Marley, you're a backbone. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, you know what? I've got a camera in the garage if you want to use it. Really? Yeah. But don't break it, because your uncle doesn't know that I took it from him. <laughs> <laughs> Go make your movie, Marley. Tomorrow, get everyone together and meet me at the park. I don't have a lot of time to explain, so I'll just tell you when you get there. Okay, gotta go. Let me know if you get this message. Oh, and hi, Mr. and Mrs. Davis. Hey, guys. Finally. Josh. Anyway, congratulations. You've all been selected to be part of my first major motion picture. So like a video? No, like a movie. And I want you guys to be part of it. Here, Josh, you're playing Jonathan. Erica, you'll be Morgan. Sam, you're the spy. And Jada, you're Maxine, the hero. Why can't I be the hero? Sure, because you could be the hero. Excuse me? I'm I can be a hero if I want to be a hero if I want to be. There's no reason why I can't oh, fight oh, like oh, any oh, other oh, hero. Guys, we've got one camera, one day, and one great story to tell, so... Wait, you never asked us if we even wanted to do this. Well, do you want to do this? Yeah. Well, I'm going to need something out of it if I'm going to be missing soccer practice. You get to miss soccer practice. 
Oh, and you guys gotta be my crew too. So Sam, you're slating. Jada, you're my producer. Erica, you're script supervisor. What's that? And Josh, you're boom operator. We don't have a boom. Okay, then you can be my assistant. You guys ready? Jada, it was hella tight. You totally killed it in that fight scene. <laughs> yeah, I did. Sorry, uh, I'm just almost finished. Do you want to see what I got so far? Sure. Thanks for your help today. And I'm not having a crisis, by the way. I didn't say you were. You were thinking it. Only for a little. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just, this is it, you know? This is what I want to do. Directing looks good on you anyway. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know, I just don't want to mess up. Proving your parents right is the worst thing ever. Maybe I just need a role model, you know, someone to look up to. Like Nora Ephron. Who's that? Sleepless in Seattle? You've got mail? Really? Nope. Oh shoot, my mom's here. Show me tomorrow? Yeah. Later. Bye. I'm done! Uh, huh? Huh? What? Uh, I finished! Finished what, honey? Already? Yep. Welcome to the world premiere of Maxine the Hero. Huh? Enjoy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs>